officially done with my book. I haven't read a book in so long. I think last time I finished a full book was two years ago. On a catamaran, it's easier to read a book without feeling squeezy. But yeah, this is pretty good. But uh, now what do I do? What's going on out here? Hey, how was your nap? Good. Good. Well, you missed a couple of things. We saw at least a hundred dolphins. I saw a shark and we saw whales. Although I didn't really have time to video, so you just have to take my word for it. But yeah, everything is still calm. We are uh, 80 miles away from our destination in Long Island. So that's good. We're almost there. Should be there tomorrow morning. really cool to be uh, cruising along in such calm weather. Uh, we can't really do that on Uma because we don't have the, the motors and the diesel tank and stuff, but then again, we wouldn't be sailing in this weather. Um, it's, been, it's been predicted for like the last week or so to be like super duper calm, and it is. So I guess on our boat, we'd just be at anchor somewhere waiting for the wind to fill in. Uh, we've never been uh, on passage for four days in such calm weather before. It's really cool. I can see myself in your glasses. Ooh. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is a camera woman. You can see me in the trampoline jumping in your, oh no, I'm too far away. You're weird, don't trip. <laughs> hey, buddy. Check it out, you got Quick, quick, quick. Dolphin, dolphin. Just one, just one sad lonely little dolphin. Where's your friends? Here they come. about 40 dolphins swimming in front of the boat right now. You're so fat. Thanks for showing up. I know it seems very childish. We've seen dolphins more than a dozen times on our boat too, but I, I don't know. I, we were never tired of it. I think anybody that has a boat or that's been on the boat seeing dolphins, they get it. <laughs> you never get tired of seeing them. They're so beautiful every single time. Okay, this is our last day out at sea and we're actually sailing today. Look at that, the jenny's out, the main is up. We have a gentle breeze and the motor's off. So that's really cool. So quiet, <laughs> finally, right?
We are still chugging along at seven knots or so. With sunsets like these, you can't really complain. It's super flat, super calm. We're just cruising along. Uh, man, look at that sunset though. It's absolutely beautiful. It's about four o'clock in the morning and we get a little bit of first light. The sun's slowly starting to uh, come up and we're about four miles away from pulling into Montauk Harbor, but it is super foggy. You can barely see the water in front of the bow. Check it out. What do you think about all this fog? It's so crazy, you can't see anything. I'm glad we have radar. <laughs> but yeah, we're what, like a couple minutes away from docking the boat. Should be an interesting uh, couple of minutes. <laughs> Somebody's coming out. Yeah. I'm waiting for a big boat. A hundred and something foot metal fishing, fishing boat. boat coming out. Come out. I see his light. There he is. Welcome to Long Island. That was a that was a very epic entrance, <laughs> but we made it. It's beautiful. Can't see anything, but it's beautiful. Well, welcome to. We arrived. It's a nice little spot. It's, it's very pretty. pretty. It'll be cool to see it. <laughs> it's thick. It was as thick as it basically as thick as it gets. Yeah. It doesn't get much thicker. It could be a little thicker on the top so you couldn't see the top of the mast at all. But usually it's Great. ground. The thing is at night, the problem is at night, it's much more nerve-wracking, obviously. You, you jumped in with both feet for a first fog. You get an A. Did it make you nervous at all? A little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I mean, but... actually having people aboard, you're calm, both of you. There are people who are not calm and they keep bothering you. Well, I'll give so you a high five. I'll give you a high yeah. five. You get a high five. Good job, guys. I'll give Pretty me a high five. And my eyes, they still burn for tomorrow. It might never come.
All right, we just spent the night at Stuart's house and now it's time to go back to Uma. All right. Thank you. And we're back on Uma. Whew. That was a fun week. But it's 4th of July, so we're not gonna call it a night just yet. We're gonna go out to the cat's office and watch fireworks. Okay. 